Hello and welcome to Tuner Tips by Totterbert. In front of us, we have the X-Star VX4. It's a four bay visible mixer smart battery charger. You can find this selling on Amazon USA, currently for $42.99. It just came out. So I'll have links down in the pay link section if you're interested in this charger. It's an awesome one because it's all batteries, one solution. Let's check out the box. So you can see we can charge nickel hydride batteries from AAA to D cell size, awesome. Our lithium ion 1.5 volt batteries, they're pretty popular right now. Your lithium iron phosphate batteries or standard lithium ion. Cool. So there you go, picture of the device. And first capacity tester for the 1.5 volt AA or AAA lithium ion batteries. Not alkaline, lithium ion only, please. Do not stick alkalines in this charger. Not good for you. Uh, 3 amp charging on a single battery. You can mix charge your batteries so you can put different types all together. That's handy. On the back here, it's got a little paragraph. Charge input on your USB C. Nice. It's got power delivery 2.0 and include the adapter with the charger, which is fantastic. Part of the price, probably. Those little adapters are about 10 bucks typically. It provides 12 volts at 1.67 amp input. Of course, you can use standard Qualcomm charging too. If you misplace your adapter, it'll use that as well. And you can see for battery types, for lithium ion, it goes from a 10440 all the way to a 32650. Now it'll also charge 21700 protected button tops. I actually have one I'm going to show you that measures 21770. Nice. And of course, your standard lithium ion, 1.5 volts, and your 1.2 nickel metal hydrides. Again, showing you AAA, AA, uh, C's, and D's. Now, I will recommend AA's and C's in this charger because you can see the charge rate is half amp. Whether you're charging one battery or four batteries, it locks it in at that, that rate when you're charging those batteries. What's included, as you can see, there you go, and we'll show you that. And done with the box. Let's see what comes in it. So we get the charger, star of the show. Awesome. The VX4 looking good. I like this. Nice size. Look at the whole thing in frame. Bring this up a little bit, a little bit. Yeah, just a little bit. All right. What else do we get? We get the adapter I told you about. USB-C. Power delivery 2.0. And I believe the shows you on there. So you have 5 volts, 3 amps. 9 volts, 2.22. And 12 volts, 1.67, giving that max 20 watt. Handy. I'll be plugging that in and be using this. They also provide you with a cable. I'll use my own, but this is works fine. USB-C to USB-C. And then we get a manual with multiple languages. We'll go to English real quick. Do a basic overview. There you go. Just going to quickly move through here. Freeze frame if you need to. In case I miss something, which I might. Now I'm just going to charge uh, standard battery types, nickel metal hydride, the 1.5 volts. Standard, yeah, standard batteries. I'm not going to get into the LFPs or the lithium iron phosphates. So here you go, just kind of quickly scrolling down. So you can see you got two modes, a charging mode and a capacity check mode. Where it charges, discharges, and charges it back up, and it gives you the result, which is pretty handy. And of course, it does that for the 1.5 volt batteries, which they're proud of being the first to do that. So there you go, done. So let's go ahead. I'm going to plug this in AC outlet right here. Get that ready, and let's talk about the charger. So the VX4 dimensions: we are five and one sixteenth of an inch, uh, width. We have six and three quarter inch in height and depth we have one and three quarter inches nice size comparison i always like to bring out something maybe a radio because i'm a radio channel cc sky wave 2 cc pocket give me an idea and if you don't have those we have deck of cards iron man he's the man with the master plan he loves x star chargers from china land he's iron man Charging his suit up with the X-Star brand. <laughs> hey, that rhymes. Awesome. Okay, you get the idea. All right, cool. So 
Let's go ahead and take that out there. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and plug it in. So your input is right here on the back. Got USB-C. And again, 12 volts, 1.67 amp input. And I'm going to go ahead and plug this other end into my charger adapter. There we go. I don't know if all that is visible on the camera there. But yeah, it stands, uh, what do you call it? Defaults to lithium ion. There you go. So it's got this bright light, which is handy. So yeah, looking at it, uh, it'll show us uh, charge status. Let's throw a battery in. Now I want to show you, here's the 21700 I mentioned that measures uh, uh, 770. Yeah. So let's go ahead and put that in. So it uh, gives you actually a little space. Let me just get this started. So protected 21700 with a button top. Fits no problem. Now what you'll see here is it'll standard charge depending on this protected circuit that's in here. I know where it's going to default to. It'll let me go 3 amp. Oh, it is going to let me go 3 amp. Nice. So you can adjust the uh, current by hitting the CV button here. So we just single click the CV button. That'll let us change the current. Now it goes all bays. It doesn't let you do individual bays, which I wish it did. Two amp, one amp, half amp, and a quarter amp. That's with the lithium ions, and that's with the LFPs as well. Nice. So if you press and hold this button, it's going to take you to the LFP mode. So if you press and hold the current one it'll change to the different mode you probably won't be using that most people don't have those batteries but if you do you press and hold the cb button to access that mode button is charge mode and this lets us uh, toggle between capacity charged or back to current just by single clicking it and if we press and hold the mode button it's going to change from charge mode to capacity mode so we'll press and hold that you notice up here it changed to, uh, I think this is grading, GRED, and you'll see it's going to charge the battery up, then it's going to discharge, and it's going to give us the result, and it's going to charge it back up for us. So that's how the system works as far as that goes. So nice, currently at 3.64 volts, and we're in charge mode for this grading. We go back to normal charge, press and hold, thing of beauty. Okay, so let's go ahead and just actually I'll show you mixed charging. We have the uh, EBL. This is a D cell, bad boy, like a metal hydride. Put that in the side. Now, if you use the sides, they accommodate the bigger, wider batteries, but the inner ones don't. As you can see, they're, they're more narrow, but they will charge 18650s, no problem. And there you go. Now it's going to start out at a real small amount, uh, 150 milliamps, but then it goes into a half amp after a little bit. Don't know how long it takes, but it does. So yeah, very interesting there. And of course, I'm mixing a lot of stuff here so you get the idea. Of course, I could throw in a XH data battery that would look familiar, I'm sure, to you guys. Pop that in there. And then we can, say, throw in one of these uh, X-Star 1.5 volts. And we'll charge that at the same time. So we're charging three different battery types. And it should show us that by voltages. So there you go. Cool. Detected lithium 1.5 volt. Over here, nickel metal hydride. And, of course, those flash as a charge. That's normal. And this one stays steady. And that's normal. So just to let you know. Very cool. And of course, yeah, it's got an indicator on the battery uh, that it's charging with that green flash. So pretty cool. Uh, so this button here, this milliwatt hour, milliamp hour, that's when you're doing the testing of the 1.5 volt lithium batteries. You, if you want to see the, the different results while it's doing the discharge cycle, you tap that button. You long press to turn the light off. So if you don't want to look at that bright light, you don't have to. You can actually make out what's going on there if you angle it into a light source without having that light blasting away. But you just tap it again, bring it back. Pretty basic. It's a it's a simple charger. Um, yeah, liking it. I like 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 what it does. Just it does everything I needed to do. 
love that. I can do my D cells uh, in a pinch. I mean, got to run it all day pretty much, but it'll do it. So yeah, liking it. So I think I covered like the charge rates. I mean, it's all it's all printed in the manual. It's pretty basic. So um, like I said, if you're just doing one battery, one lithium battery, three amps. If you're doing two lithium batteries, uh, you can go two amps a piece, which is nice. If you're doing four lithium batteries, you can go one amp a piece, half amp, or quarter amp. So that's kind of nice. It lets you do that if you're doing just lithium ion only. Now, if you're doing the 1.5 volts, it's just going to default at half amp regardless. Same with nickel metal hydrides. So again, a good charger for, say, the AA nickel metal hydride, but not the AAA. But as far as the 1.5 volts, the AA and AAAs are fine because they have protected circuitry. They take the 5 volts and convert it to the necessary uh, amperage they need, the half volt, or sorry, half amp into what they need. So it provides the half amp, but it may not use it depending on the charge circuit. But pretty cool. Now, when I tested these uh, with the circuit, I noticed that the XTAR brand it was pretty close to the stated capacity. This one says 1620. I got about a 10% variation. So pretty close to the rated capacity. These are new ones. Uh, the older ones were the green ones. I also tested these as well. As I was able to test the, see, you notice they only printed the milliwatt hours. They changed that, which is good on the newer batteries. I don't know if I can see that, but they did it on this one here. Yeah, they say 1,000 milliamp hour. It's actually pretty nice that they're higher capacity like that. Very cool. See what they're doing there? All right, great. So we're rocking away. I think I pretty much covered it. It's a, a pretty simple process here, um, straight up. So you get to see it doing all those at once. Great. So we'll go ahead and pull these out. And we'll do final thoughts on the VX4. I like the fact that it can charge this monster battery here. And it can charge at low speed, fast speed, whatever speed I want. That is fantastic. And of course, it just defaults to lithium ion. And mixed charging is, is nice as well. So, all right. So, what do I like about this charger? Well, I like the fact of mixed charging, number one. Capacity measurement on the lithium batteries is handy. I don't know if it's necessary. I just use them on my devices and kind of get a general idea if they're as good as a standard alkaline or if they're as good as a standard nickel hydride. But it's good to know over time if your cell is degrading uh, and how much it has degraded. So that is nice. You can use this charger to grade your cells to find out how they're doing life-wise. Uh, these should last quite a long time. These are good for your flashlights, by the way, not radios. Keep in mind, the 1.5 volt batteries, the lithiums, they put out RFI, unfortunately. But it's one of those things. The charger itself, it's a little high priced for what it is. Um, I'd like to see the price come down just a bit. That's one thing I wish it uh, would do. Uh, I wish it had a storage mode uh, for the lithium ion. That would be fantastic. I know it's only 4 bay, but to be able to have a store mode, I mean, just having charge and capacity grading, that's great, but I'd like to have storage as well for my lithium ions. I'm sure you guys would agree. You're paying $42 for this charger. I wish it would have some extra features like that. And per bay current management. I mean, if I want to charge my bigger fat battery at 2 amps and my other ones at a quarter amp, I wish I could do that instead of just being across the board. You know, if I had like a, uh, a smaller 10440 or a 14500 cell I wanted to charge in here, uh, I'd have to you just put that battery in. Otherwise, I'm, you know, if I want to charge my one battery at 2 amps, I'm not going to charge that little AA battery at 2 amps. That's not going to be a good thing. So keep that in mind when you're charging your lithium ions. So there it is, the VX4. Does it get an upvote? It gets a maybe. Uh, you got to have a use for... The capacity measurement of the 1.5 volts. That's its main thing. It's the first charger for that. And plus it's the first charger I've seen that mixes all these together where you're actually able to mix nickel hydride, 1.5 volt batteries, and your lithium ion batteries. That's fantastic. So being able to do all those batteries, uh, and of course the size batteries, the big boys, um, is really nice and handy. So you got to have a use for it. So that's why I give it the maybe. If the price comes down, say it's 35 or 30 on sale, then it gets a upvote for sure. Because 30 bucks, decent charger for 30 bucks. 
um, and the included little adapters. Nice. So there you go. Dexstar VX4. Pretty much a demo, kind of an introduction to it. And yeah, it's uh, again, basic, simple. You, you know, they make different ones. If you don't need this, they have the V at C4, I believe. There's, there's other four bay chargers that Xstar sells. Check those out as well. I have links again to those that I've reviewed. Uh, and you can take a look at those and see if any of those appeal to you. All right, guys. Uh, so, yeah, if you like XTAR brand products, make sure to subscribe at the bell icon. Get notified of future reviews of their batteries, their chargers. And, of course, three, comment below what you think about the VX4. Is this something you would use? Do you like the idea of being able to charge all these different battery types? Uh, do you like the idea of capacity measuring 1.5 volt batteries? Are you a fan of these? Do you use these? Again, using them in flashlights, they're great. Uh, I like them because they're 1.5 volts until they stop. They usually give you a warning, a little bit of a flash to the uh, circuit, so you know that uh, something's going to happen, it's going to dump. So I remember using this in the flashlight, and I was doing that. So it does give you an indication it's running low. So that's nice. So let me know. All right, guys, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in my next video.